Hi and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if this is your first time stopping by. So last week on a random Wednesday evening, I decided that my son's bedroom needs to be moved around right away. Basically, this all came about because my 18 month old kept on climbing onto the windowsill, which obviously can be quite dangerous. And Liam, who's seven, his bed is actually under the windowsill, so it's quite easy for Aiden to get up there. So I thought it needs to be done right now. So I moved, started moving it around, 30% done. Yeah, I threw my hip and my back out, didn't I? It was so sore. Aging definitely is not for the faint hearted, but it is still a privilege. So, you know, I'm not complaining. But because of that, plus the school holidays, I have not been able to do any cleaning because my back has been so sore this past week. So really this entire house needs a deep clean. So I'm going to start downstairs, work my way up and see how much I can get done before I need a rest. Um, so if that sounds like something that you're interested in watching, if you need the motivation or the inspiration, you are definitely in the right place. So please stick around. Let's get started. <laughs> So whenever I have a really big clean like I had on this specific day, I approach it in one of two ways. I either start off in the room that needs the most work and is going to take the longest um, just to get that out of the way. Or I start in a room that really doesn't need that much doing and then that will start a snowball effect. On this specific day, I thought, no, let's just get the heavy lifting out of the way up front, which definitely is the kitchen. As you can see here, it really needed a proper clean. All the cabinets needed a wipe down. The counters were dirty, the toaster, the stovetop, name it. It needed a good clean. So I'm going to start um, working from the top down um, as much as possible. And you'll see that I'm not sort of bothered too much about pushing dust and crumbs and things onto the floor because the floor is already dirty so an extra couple of crumbs really is not going to make a difference and I will be finishing up by vacuuming the floor and mopping it as well. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows, if this is a mistake I know about tomorrow. I don't want to fight no more Cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just want to make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best and say goodbye to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one Cheers to all the memories The venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget, yeah Maybe it's something in the water or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best to say now this is a product that is definitely not new in store but I've actually never bought it. It's these little pre-filled Brillo sort of pads and I think they are around a pound for ten. Um, I don't know why but I've never purchased them. Um, I thought maybe it was just a hype but on a random day I thought let's give it a go and I can definitely say that they are worth the money. So on this day I really needed to give the stovetop a good clean and I took all the grits and everything off and as you can see even the little silver bits just giving it a quick rub down not putting too much elbow grease in it it actually really got the dirt and the grime off super easy so maybe something just to try out if next time you're in the shop like i said it wasn't that expensive so maybe just worth a try
think that I clean my toaster relatively regularly but clearly um, I am not doing such a good job so maybe just take this as your reminder to just quickly clear out the crumb trays and just get rid of all the little crumbs inside the toaster as well because it will extend the lifespan of your toaster. Once felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Had to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders I'm closed off, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back no going back, there's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights Generally, my husband will take out um, the rubbish, but I thought while I'm here and the, ba the bags are full, I'll just quickly empty it and give the inside as well as the outside of the bin just a quick wipe down with my antibacterial spray. It was at this point that I noticed how absolutely disgusting the floor was around here. I don't know, for some reason, because of the way that the door is, I walk in and I look towards the left, so away from the bin, so I don't really notice how dirty the floor is. So while I'm here, I'm just going to make sure to give it a good wipe down with an antibacterial spray and a microfiber cloth and just make sure to vacuum up all of that dust and grime and dirt as well. Felt like nothing could stop us. Sunsets remember the colors. They were wrong. It was way more than a dream. Yeah, over the hillside It's alright, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights finish off the kitchen by vacuuming the floors making sure to get rid of all the dust and the crumbs that I've been pushing onto the floor while I was cleaning and then just finish off by mopping the floors with my flash mop this really is something that I should do more often than I do but um, at least on this day I know that it is completely done and the kitchen is nice and clean Now with the kitchen all done, and believe me, this took about two hours to do, um, I thought I would head upstairs and just do a couple of the bedrooms that really just needed a quick wipe down. I know this looks dirty, but it literally is a wipe down and it'll be nice and clean. Um, just to get myself moving a bit, because at this point I feel like I've been cleaning all day and I've accomplished virtually nothing. So I thought if I go upstairs, do the rooms, that's going to be quick and easy. Um, it will sort of get me back into the motivation of cleaning the rest of the house. They were in high school when they met And things got kinda awkward 
with sparks in the air He would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together ooh And one day she said Write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper And started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like Ooh Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said so with Jamie's room all done and I can say that that took about 10 minutes I'm feeling a little bit more motivated so I'm going to move on to my eldest son's room. Now I mentioned earlier in the video that I redecorated his room but I did it without spending a single penny because if you saw my previous Aldi haul video we are on a budget with the cost of living crisis at the moment and we just don't have any money to spare on sort of home decor really at the moment so I took the furniture that he had shopped my own home and brought pulled things from other rooms so as you can see I just pushed these two single beds together and he essentially has a king size bed now I do know that there is like a little insert that you can buy that will connect the two mattresses so he doesn't have that gap in the middle but I think it's around 30 pounds and it's just not money that I have to spend on something like that at the moment so he is only sleeping on the one bed so it really doesn't bother him and I'm just kind of putting pillows in the middle so that you can't see it but I literally just went around my house pulled some pieces from other rooms and he is so happy with how it turned out and I feel a little bit better with my 18 month old not climbing onto the windowsill all the time obviously the windows are on latches and he can't open it but um, I just don't like the idea of it. So I feel better with this room being redecorated. And the most important thing is that Liam loves the way that his room looks. So that makes my mommy heart very happy. And I tried to make it beautiful. It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart. And how nobody can steal me away. Yeah, I am your horse. Cause I want you and I wanted you to know. As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight As they kept on dancing the last bedroom that I'll be tackling is the master bedroom. So again, the hard surfaces are very dusty and dirty. So I'm going to make sure to wipe that down with an antibacterial spray and my microfiber cloth. I'm going to make the bed and then I'm going to finish off by just giving the room a good vacuum. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile Where's that happy girl that I know with a heart on fire? Something on your mind right now But I will make you forget 
forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard Dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes Now, I really wanted to finish off by giving the dog's bed a quick wipe down and vacuuming um, it out as well. But she looked so comfy in there, so I just couldn't bear to disturb her. So we'll leave that for another day and move on to the stairs. Now, the, the banister was absolutely filthy. I mean, the camera doesn't really pick it up, but there were so many sort of sticky finger marks and just general sort of dust on there. So I'm going to make sure to give every single surface a good wipe down. As you saw there, when you have little pieces that you have to wipe down it is easier to actually spray the disinfectant spray onto the cloth than onto the surface so whenever i have something like this always spray um, the disinfectant spray onto the cloth and not the surface that's maybe a little trick if you weren't aware um, and as you can see here the stairs are so dirty the dog likes lying on the stairs and she must be molting at the moment because that is excessive. So I'm going to make sure to vacuum the stairs going backwards and forwards and sideways just to make sure that I pick everything up. I don't really need a new friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play, though. Want to hang with me? I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of. Give it all to me. Get next to me. Get next Moving on to the entrance hallway which as always this glass table needs a quick wipe down and then I'll follow that up with the glass cleaner just to make sure that there are no streaks and then the carpet as always needs vacuuming because this is obviously where everyone comes in and out where we take our shoes off so this carpet is pretty much always dirty I think I vacuum it two to three times a day some days especially when the kids um, go back to school they have a 4g pitch at school and it has these tiny little black balls in there so when they come in that is all over the carpet so that's kind of almost part of the pickup routine the kids come home take their shoes off and i have to vacuum so i'll just get on with that because this really does make a big difference to me when the entrance hallway is clean and tidy because it is the first thing people see when they enter my home it's Now at this point I was absolutely exhausted and my back actually started hurting as well. I think I just overused the muscle so I thought time out we'll rest for the rest of the day and pick this up tomorrow so this is actually day two of the clean year I'm going to start off in the bathroom as you can see it is really really dirty so again I'm going to work my way from the top down um wipe down all the hard surfaces with an antibacterial spray followed by my glass cleaner on that mirror as well as I actually spray um, the top with the glass cleaner as well just to get it nice and shiny and that works really really well and I'm going to finish off by um, giving the toilet a, a quick wipe down and then last but not least as always the floors I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away I let my head down if I want Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun 
You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better has been hoovered and all the dust is gone on this specific day instead of using a mop i used my antibacterial spray and a microfiber cloth because sometimes just actually going in on your hands and knees really does get it so much cleaner because there's always little bits and pieces that the mop just doesn't pick up so once in a while i do like doing this i know it seems very labor intensive but it's not the biggest floor area so it really only took about two minutes but like I said it does make sure that all the little bits and pieces that generally gets missed and um, gets picked up and cleaned properly so moving on to the lounge clearly it is all stool holidays and there are toys everywhere so I'm just going to start off by picking up all the toys just putting it back in the Calyx box moving it to um, the playroom so I have a nice clean slate to start cleaning as I do Every single day I'm going to start off cleaning these glass tables and then the couches actually are quite dirty so I'm going to make sure to vacuum those properly including underneath the cushions because the kids have been eating their cereal and crisps and popcorn on here so there is some food in that couch. I just want to make sure to um, hoover all of that up and then we can finish off with the carpets. Oh, how it burns. We barely started on every turn. That's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and that it gave you the motivation that you may have been looking for. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot to me and it really does help my channel out as well. Um, the next video that I'll be filming is my autumn or fall decorate with me. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified of my future uploads. With all that said, I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye.